manager at was tell people about the key messages for each of the brands. But take it wider with champagne, it's such a magical world. It's also about luxury, business, people, gastronomy and science. Today is going to start with two master classes, one by Ovid Deschamps, who is a chef de car for Perrier Jouet. So he's going to be looking at some Van Clair and some back vintage of Belle Epoque, stretching back to 1985. Champagne is not only bubbles on the prestige cuvee, but it's a wine, and it's very important to understand it's a creation. And then Didier Mariotti, the chef de car for Mum, he is going to look into the tricky world of assembling a consistent non-vintage blend. For Mum, it's, uh, it's important just uh, to do this kind of masterclass to show that uh, Mum is increasing in quality every year and, and we are back. We're going to follow that up then with some food workshop, actually scientific food pairing. I'm looking at uh, champagne at the... What, what components, what molecular components make the difference between vintage, non-vintage, rosé? My name's Ian Graham, uh, I'm executive chef at Urban Caprice. Chemically analysed all the champagnes, the different vintages, and they've asked me to match some food to the wines. I think we've got some good feedback and some good results. And it's in the feeling brain that all our passions are located, our desires, our memories. If you like, we have hot buttons there, and those hot buttons are hardwired for luxury. Because every time we have a luxurious experience, it reactivates those memories, those desires, those passions. And how is luxury looking on a global basis in terms of existing markets, new markets, and how are people feeling about spending money at this point in time? That, I think, is very much what new luxury is all about. It's never vulgar, and it isn't dull, and it has a little surprise, but it always, always has a story. We've had some wonderful guest speakers today that uh, you know, have really opened our eyes to uh, the whole wonderful world of, of luxury. The human factor in champagne should not be forgotten. Champagne the drink is not solely the result of a marginal climate, it's a magical combination of cool climate, chalky soil, and three centuries of human endeavour that enable something unique to emerge in the bottle. I think luxury has to be something that you aspire to, something of quality and heritage. Luxury good is something that's rare and special and sophisticated. Something that has a real story to tell.